puppy came into Border Collie Rescue at about 12 weeks old. It was one of those situations we were all unsure whether we were actually rescuing puppy or the people that owned him. They weren't inexperienced people, but they did need some help with the puppy's behaviour. And they originally phoned the Border Collie Rescue advice line to see if they could glean some kind of help. Other rescue centres had refused to take him. He had uh, nipped quite a few times. And the more I asked questions, the more it became rather clear that he actually harboured quite a lot of fear aggression and food aggression. We actually travelled up to Scotland to collect Puppy. We met the people that owned him and they were really lovely people and had really tried their best with ironing out his problems. But this particular puppy had been more of an experience than they actually wanted. Their clothes were ragged and tattered at the sleeve ends and when we walked in, although he came up at high speed, he went straight past us, jumping off sofa to table to chair, etc, etc. We asked questions like, how long have you had puppy? And what are the kind of behaviour that seems to be the problem? It seemed that aggression with meeting new people, aggression with themselves, mainly close contact with touching him, and certainly getting anywhere near his food, or even the smell of biscuit on the floor would allow him to fly at you at high speed and cling on and set his teeth into any flesh available. They signed him over to Border Collie Rescue and we popped him on a training collar and lead and took him out to the pickup, followed by the majority of the street that seemed to I think it was quite amusing to see Puppy leaving. The aggression problem was really quite severe at first. Practicing the trust technique was certainly a very good place to start from. Only being very calm around him was going to allow him to trust anybody. So doing one-to-one -one training, getting him to trust me first, so we could then invite more people to widen his family group was definitely the way forward and that worked very well. Border Collie Rescue always do the working sheepdog assessments first and it was good that we did that with him because he was very keen indeed. We always introduce on a long line and allow the dog to go up just to see how they react to the sheep and how the sheep react to them. He was certainly very keen right from the very start even before he even had confidence or knew what he could do. But very quickly he started to find that he had the power to move the sheep. And that gave him a lot of confidence. Again, using the trust technique and spending some time just alone with him, I think it allowed him to dump a load of previous fears and uncertainty and start to feel more confident in himself. The food aggression problem <laughs> went on for some time, but the trust technique also helped with that. The smell of biscuit in a pocket or just food bowls would suddenly out of nowhere produce this guarding uh, reaction in him. But using the trust technique and taking it very slowly allowed us to get him to take food from the hand and put food in the food bowl and move it around with your hands so that he didn't actually start to dive on you and nip you. One of the first commands that we use is always the stop command, the down command, because this is used for so many things and it's the most important command to use. And it doesn't matter whether they're going to be working sheepdogs or whether they're going to be somebody's personal companion. But to get control of the chase instinct is more important than anything else. So the down command had to be something he was very comfortable with and responded to immediately. So we worked still on the long line and used stop command to get him to walk behind us and not pull on the lead, to be able to stop him from things that he was going to lunge out at aggressively or even to try and con control his chase instinct. 
At first, puppy's aggression extended towards people, other dogs, anything that moved. We started by socialising puppy with other dogs on his long line. Fortunately, we got some very friendly dogs in Border Collie Rescue and we were able to drop the long training line and watch him integrate with the other dogs fairly rapidly and start to play, which was great. Just to watch him relax and gain confidence and enjoy himself in areas that he clearly hadn't experienced before. He was quite eager to go around more sheep, so initially, with help from one of our more experienced dogs, she could keep the flock together while he innocently blundered around, making lots of mistakes, but learning from it rapidly without scattering them away. Learning to put into place the stop commands and the come bys and aways and bringing the flock towards me. And he did all these things very instinctively and he clearly got a lot of confidence out of doing it. And it was lovely to see the progress that he was making quite rapidly. It was becoming very clear that by continuing with the sheepdog training, he was gaining confidence not just around the sheep, but in many other areas of his life. By allowing people that he'd never even met before to shout out the odd sheepdog command, he was associating that with strangers, they were giving him something that he felt was the best thing in the world. We've got a few applications in at the moment. Some people have got more experience than others for sheepdog training. But anybody that wanted to bring a pup on from the beginning, um, he's at a really good place to start right now. One of the luxuries of being at Border Collie Rescue Centre is that people are invited along to work a new dog around our training sheep. And it's good to watch the dog and see how he reacts with different people. But it's also nice for a new adoptee to actually see how they feel about a particular pup or a new dog to bring on. On reflection, it's difficult to believe that this is the same puppy that we picked up all those months ago from Scotland. To think we, he was nicknamed the puppy from hell seems most unfair now. And it's only been with calmness around him, it's allowed him to trust us and allowed him to find a focus and a career in sheepdog training. It's with all of these things, the trust technique, the working sheepdog training, the socialising with other brave people initially, that's allowed him to get a lot more confidence and to really enjoy things now. So we have yet to see where this is going to lead, but I'm as excited about it as the puppies. <laughs>
he's bored with what he's doing. We just we've only got like say there's just these four four coal ewes at the moment just to to put him around. You know, once we get on to bigger once we start la you know finishing lambing, we've got more sheep to put him around. He'll uh, we'll see how he is with bulk, but you know I don't put a young dog like that near in lamb ewes, especially heavy in lamb ewes at the moment. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, I'm pleased with him. I think he'll shape up, and he's got the he's got the legs and the power to to run as well around some of these larger fields that we've got. You know, we just start him on this little little sort of nursery paddock, uh, and then uh, when you're a bit more finely tuned, we'll we'll take you out into into the park and and other places. But he's starting to learn where all the gateways are, holes, you know, in under fences and. Post and rail, you know, beforehand he would just stand at the gate, wait for you to open the gate for him. Well, you know, you need a sheepdog to be able to find its way through, whether it's a hedge, a, you know, a wall, a gate, whatever. But uh, you're starting to find your way around the farm now, aren't you? And he's settled in well, you know, he gets on well with the other dogs, he gets on well with our children. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's becoming used to the quad bike. He hasn't, he hasn't ridden on the quad bike yet, but he's, he's, he's getting better at getting in and out of the Land Rover. At first, he didn't want to jump up into the Land Rover, but he's, uh, he's getting better at that now, aren't you? He's been doing a little bit around the, the sheep handling pens with us as well. You know, when we've been bringing sheep in, he's been just working with the, the other bitch, um, just running those in. But, you know, well, he's, he's got to learn his commands first. That's the... That's the main thing. Haven't you? You're getting there. You are, aren't you? Are you a good boy? Puppy came into Border Collie Rescue at about 12 weeks old. And he came in with quite a few issues mainly uh, fear aggression and some aggression um, really around food, food aggression. Um, can I start that again? 